Hello and welcome to an honest walkthrough and review of Borealis by Mantra. This is mainly a reverb plugin, but it does have some really nice delays and technically you can use it as a standalone limiter and compressor. It's got two limiters at the back, a modern and a vintage. And I'm not going to lie, that modern limiter is very, very clean. So technically you could stick that on the end and use that as a standalone, but that's not really what it's intended for. It is a reverb plugin price will be around the hundred pound ish i have been granted early access so that i don't think they've quite decided on the price yet but there will be a free edition for you to try out coming out eventually anyway let's dive into some of these sounds one of the things i love so much about this plugin is it's so user friendly you can come in knowing absolutely nothing about re reverb or you can come in at an expert and really dive deep into it now the first things you're going to see is these little macros that you can kind of touch now at default they're not assigned to anything you've got three uh, one down here you'll see eventually there we go it changes uh, which is really cool and if you want to assign those you've got to click that second button there that first one is like extra little things that you can do to the sound um, this is a bad example because it's only got dampening but others do have much much more uh, this second one allows you to assign stuff so we can for example assign our wet and dry to not that one that's our circle uh, and so you can see it there that's affecting it another really cool thing about this and if we actually look at some of these other things because you can see we've got some mods and an envelope there is this envelope follower so as i play if we actually assign that to something well, you can kind of see it there put the input gain up a bit there we go you can see this follows my playing so if we go back into this bit here if we just click that that resets the whole page for us we can if we want to firstly get that off the mod we can attach that to our envelope follower which is a really cool effect but before we dive too deeply into this you're probably wondering what's the sound i'm playing in the background well that is this it's blueprints it's by fracture sounds it's a free electric key i've taken the reverb completely off of it as you can see and if we turn the reverb off this is the raw sound we should probably turn the atmosphere off as well actually and we'll turn stereo spread off as well So very raw, very in your face, and a fun one to put some interesting reverbs on. So let's make that disappear again, because we're not going to see that again. And start going through some of these really cool sounds. Now, you've got a whole preset browser. Their goal, I think, is to have about 100 uh, upon release, and they're definitely getting close to that now. You can break it down into bass, and if you want to even break it down further, maybe just synth, you can do that. There is just a load of default ones as well, so plenty to browse. If you want, you can actually completely get rid of everything as well and just use it for presets. Another really cool thing is this button over here, especially for the beginners. You can just break it down by even simpler cavern echo hall freeze that's a really cool one ping pong uh, sanctuary i think it's like the default default church stereo spring so just really easy and user friendly ones personally this is one of my favorites the piano one And it gives you that lovely reflection intimacy and space at the same time really enjoy that lot of fun and you'll notice everything has kind of stayed the same how i set it as well so don't forget to either turn those off or um 
leave them on it's up to you and you can zoom in on that screen as well and do all sorts of weird shapes and wonderful things with this as well i think it's time for another one of our cool little presets freeze is definitely one i want to check out and a thing i like doing as well so freeze is this one here we can stick that on our envelope and it's kind of an inverted signal there as well so it freezes that sound that comes in and then we play a new one starts that freeze again Add a bit of compression, well, I say compression, limiting on that. It's so cinematic. And if we just turn that off, that's the original sound. Like how interesting a chord does that make that sound? Absolutely love that. It's so much fun. Let's go for a little bit more of a vintage vibe now. And you can see this one on the plus, we've got some shimmer of pitch there. We've got tilt, pre-delay and pre-delay freeze. Could play with that one all day honestly absolutely gorgeous granulator lots of stuff going on in that one there See, we still have the stuff set from the last one, but that kind of works really well. I can actually show you what's going on. nice as it shows you the path as well there of what you're doing uh, when you're stacking effects which is really cool let's turn that off for now and have a look at another one echo hall I always love messing with the delay live because it just has some really cool effects. Um, anyway, endless.
focusing too much on that one. But still actually quite a nice reverb. Let's go into our preset window then. Uh, as I said, there is just all your defaults there that we were kind of just looking at as well as more, if you want more in depth or some different granulator ones like we we're looking at, you've got some different ones there. Distant mums. And you'll notice with the presets as well, your parameters are set up a little bit differently. So if we look in there, you'll see they've done something interesting and you can see how I've mapped them. If, but just by clicking and looking at the different ones, you can see each ones, they've mapped the macros accordingly with the presets, which is nice. favorite or always the experimental the different ones but you can see just the variety you're getting with this it's not just your everyday reverb plugin and that's what i love so much about this company is just the the take they have on things it's different it's not like everybody else and i think this is the beginning of a group of plugins this is a separate plugin to the one that they normally use for their virtual instruments so i feel this is the beginning of a series of effect plugins that this company is going to produce i'm excited to go on that journey with them now they do have this extra info hub which is coming soon i've had a quick look behind that and that is going to be awesome it's basically some tips and tricks it's like a mini web browser within this that can help you get started if you're new with a plugin like this but that will hopefully be out and ready when you come to either purchase this or download it or try out the free version i think we'll definitely be checking out the free version in one of my free samples of the week but let me know if you want me to dive deeper into this plugin i feel there's so much we can do with it i barely scratched the surface um oh i should also add you can save your own presets i feel that's very important to add as well so you can experiment and then go ahead and save that but anyway we're going to leave the video there thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video